Hi guys, this video covers understanding and using English grammar fifth edition. We are on page 408, looking at chapter 19, connectives. This video will talk about connectives that express cause and effect. So we're in section three, cause and effect using, therefore, consequently, and so. Let's look at the first three examples. A, Al failed the test because he didn't study. So here we have the result, he failed, followed by the reason, because, the cause, he didn't study. And example B, Al didn't study, therefore, he failed the test. Example C, Al didn't study, consequently, he failed the test. So we have the reason first, followed by the result, the effect, cause, then effect. <clears throat> so examples A, B, and C, they all have the same meaning. Example B and C, therefore, and consequently mean as a result. So in grammar, they are called transitions or conjunctive ad adverbs, okay? So it's an adverb. Transitions connect the ideas between two sentences. They're used most commonly in formal written English. They are rarely used in spoken English. So example A is something that you will hear people say in conversation. Example B and C, you will probably only see written down, especially in formal English. Let's look at examples D, E, and F. Al didn't study, therefore, he failed the test. Al didn't study, he, therefore, failed the test. Al didn't study, he failed the test, therefore. A transition occurs in the second of the two unrelated sentences. Please notice the patterns and pronunciation in these examples. You can have the transition come first, followed by a period. You can have the transition come after the subject. So between the subject and verb, commas on both sides, separating it. Or you can have it at the end of the sentence, again, separated by a comma. Okay? A period, not a comma, is used at the end of the first sentence. So we have one complete sentence, Al didn't study, period. The transition has several positions in the second sentence separated by a comma. D and E are more common. So D is probably the most common. We put therefore, comma, at the beginning of the sentence. Sometimes we may use exam, uh, example E, therefore, or consequently, comes after the subject separated by commas. Not too often, uh, fairly rarely, will you get example F where their transition is at the very end of the sentence. That is the least common. Okay. Now let's look at example G, something a little different. Al didn't study, comma, so he failed the test. Here we see in example G, this is one sentence. Al didn't study comma, so he failed the test. So is used as a conjunction between two independent clauses. It has the same meaning as therefore and consequently, but it is not an adverb, it is a conjunction, okay? So is common in both formal written and spoken English. This is very common, just like because you will hear the word so in everyday conversation very often. It's very common, okay? When written down, a comma precedes so when it connects two sentences or two independent clauses as in G. So you will have the first independent clause, comma, so. And then you have the, the effect, right? The result, okay? So please notice the differences in punctuation between these three words, therefore, consequently, are going to be adverbs, right? Transit, transitive adverbs. So is a conjunction. 
and, and please note the difference between those, those things, okay? Let's, let's practice, we'll look at some examples. Uh, in uh, number one through five, you're given the, the cause, right? The, the situation, fill in the blank with the appropriate effect. What is the result? Number one, Heather has traveled all over the world as a result of her travels. What is the result? She put on a sweater, she won't have time to take the dispute to court. She calls a taxi if she needs to go out. She watched the others do it for a while. Her passport has many stamps in it. I think if she's a traveler, she's gonna have a lot of stamps in her passport. So here again, consequently is your transitive adverb. Pause the video now, read number two through five and match cause and effect, okay? Match the first situation with the result. Good luck. You done? Everything good? We good? Let's check our answers, okay? Number two, Margaret felt very cold, comma, so she put on her sweater. Ms. Franklin can't see well enough to drive at night, comma, so she called a taxi if she needs to go out. Notice with number two and three, we had a comma. So we know, if we know our grammar punctuation rules, number two and three have to be so, comma, so. Whereas number one, four and five end with a period. So it's going to be therefore or consequently. Well, we only have two more therefores, so let's look. Number four, the company finally returned Kathleen's money, therefore, she won't have to take the dispute to court. Vicky wasn't sure how to do the dance. Therefore, she watched the others do it for a while. I'm sure you got all of these correct because you're an excellent student. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment below. Thanks for watching this video.